Wonder Woman. I, as soon as I, oh my gosh, I, no words. There's no complete sentence I can say right now to express how good I thought that movie was. I'm gonna be honest, when I was younger, I didn't understand Wonder Woman. I didn't think lassos were cool. She spun around to change into costume. And her costume, you know, she was an Amazon, but her costume was red, white, and blue. And I always imagined that her and Betsy Ross were like best friends. And her and Betsy Ross would be chilling while she was sewing the American flag together. And Wonder Woman was like, yo, I like that. Hook me up with a costume, Betsy. But after watching her in Batman v Superman and in this standalone movie, my opinion has changed completely. Her costume, her outfit, her her battle armor, it doesn't look like American propaganda. She looks like a mystic warrior. You have to be extremely confident running into a battlefield wearing a corset and a skirt, and she was. Watching her run into no man's land wearing that while these like well-covered soldiers just peek over the barricades. It was, oh my gosh. I've seen that same shot in the trailers and the TV spots so many times and yet it was still just as awesome. She doesn't spin around to change into costume, but lassos. But that lasso though, it's so cool. I wasn't sure how cinematic the lasso was gonna be on screen, but watching this glowing string just whip around in the air, Oh god, I could watch that all day. This Christmas when I'm setting up all the Christmas lights, I'm just gonna take them and just whip them around in the air like this. My neighbors will all probably think I'm a weirdo, but I'm pretty sure they already think that. Themyscira, Wonder Woman's hometown. Talk about a place you want to visit. It's so beautiful. And I love that you get to see the glowing clear waters of Themyscira, and then you see the brown water of London. London looks like trash in this movie. <laughs> You've seen this in the trailer, but that shot where Robin Wright is leaping into the air with three arrows, that, uh, it's just epic. I really had no idea what this movie was gonna be like. There are so many changes behind the camera. And then there was that open letter that was like, Wonder Woman looks cool in the trailers, but this movie's garbage. You know, all I could really do was like cross my fingers and hope that this was gonna be an okay movie. But gosh, it's such a great movie. I thought it was better than Guardians of the Galaxy. You guys, <laughs> I didn't really wanna say that, but it was. Patty Jenkins, man, you did a good job. There are so many character moments in the movie that you really don't expect because it is a comic book movie. You know, the conversations that Gail Gadot Get it? Godot? How do you say her last name? The conversations that Gail and Chris have makes their romance feel real. Which is why this movie gets really sad at the end, you guys. I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's sad. You know, one of the themes that they talk about is time. Just wanting more of it, but it, it's just, would it ever be enough? I love what she did with these characters, but it's a comic book movie and I was really looking forward to the action and she delivered. Now the second action sequences, bits of it are placed throughout trailers and TV spots, but seeing the whole thing just play out in the movie theater, I was floored. We really need more female superhero movies. We need more character-driven superhero movies too. I love that this takes place during World War I. Watching this woman fight alongside men at a time when this idea was considered ridiculous is just awesome. <laughs> or like the PG version of that would be like, it is so brave and bold. There's a scene where all the male characters are just questioning why there's a female in the room. Cause she's the boss. Who are you? You're trash. Go get the garbage man. So I've got to give props to Gail Gadot. Got it? Gadot? Gosh. To me, it was like she came out of nowhere and now she's just doing the damn thing. I'm, I'm terrible at pronouncing this name, but however you pronounce it, I want to see more of her. Hey Siri, how do you pronounce Gail Gadot's name? Good dot? Oh god, this isn't gonna work. Okay, I found this on the web for how do you pronounce Gail Good Tilt's name Good Diets? God, this isn't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even Gail, it's Gal. Gal Good Dot. I love it. 
I love you, you're beautiful, you're strong, you're a fighter, oh gosh, I love you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out all of my Wonder Woman stuff. There's so much to help you get ready for like a Wonder Woman party. Now I'm curious, how did you feel about her having a baby at the end of the movie? Am I joking? I don't know. Did you watch the movie? <laughs> I love you guys. Subscribe. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.